Hello guys and welcome to my channel sir. Today in this video we will see how to design a snower circuit for the protection of thyristors. Here we have given a question sir. A thyristor is used to feed a low resistance of 8 ohm from a 230 volt single phase supply. And the rating of thyristor are given as repetitive peak current is 200 ampere. And here we have given DI upon DT max is 40 ampere per microsecond. And DV upon DT max is 150 volt per microsecond. And here we have to design the snower circuit for the protection of thyristors. And here we have given the safety factor of 2. And here when safety factor is 2, then DI upon DT max will be 40 upon 2. Here in the equations we have given 40 ampere per microsecond. And if the safety factor is 2, then it will be divided up by 2. So it will be 20 into 10 power 6 ampere per second. Similar to DV upon DT max will be 150 upon 2 ampere per microsecond. Means 25 into 10 power 6 volt per second and the repetitive peak current will be also divided by 2 so it will be 100 ampere and here the protection must be designed for the peak value of input voltage and here we have the input voltage 230 volt so the, for the peak value we have root 2 into 230 means 325.2 volt and to calculate the value of L here equals to V upon DI upon DV max and here we have calculated the V as 325.2 so you use the value of V as 325.2 upon the DV, DV upon DT max. So DV upon DT max is 20 into 10 power 6. So on calculating we will get here 16.26 into 10 power minus 6 Henry. And to calculate R we have L upon V DV upon DT max. So on substituting the value we will get here 3.75 ohm. And we have to calculate now the peak load current. So for peak load current we have V upon R L and we have calculated V as 325.2 and in place of RL we have 8 so 40.65 ampere the peak load current will be 40.65 and the peak capacitor discharge current will be V upon R and we have calculated V as 325.2 and in place of R we have 3.75 calculated already so on calculating this we have 86.72 amperes so the total current through the capacitor will be the sum of this current and the sum of this current so which will be 127.37 ampere and since the total current through capacitor is more than the permissible value of 100 ampere the value of R should be increased and the maximum capacitor discharge current will be 100 minus this 100 minus this peak load current means 40.65 so it will be 59.35 ampere and now the net value of R will be 325.2 means V upon R V upon I and we have now I is equals to 59.35 so we'll use this value of current so which will be 5.48 now here we have 5.48 ohms so let it assume it as R equals to 6 ohms then the relation for R will be R equals to 2 zeta root under L upon C and on further simplification we will get here C as C is equals to 4 zeta square L by R square so on Substituting value we will get here C as C is equals to 0 0.7633 into 10 power minus 6 Faraday and using here using the above value of C the current through capacitor at instant of switching on the circuit is C dV upon dt and to calculate here we have C dV upon dt equals to V upon here V upon R plus RL in place of V we have 325.2 and R plus RL so 6 plus 8 6 plus 8 will be 14 so, so dv upon dt equal to 325.2 upon 14 and value of c we have calculated value of c as 0.7633 into 10 power minus 6 so which will be dv upon dt max uh, dv upon dt equal to 30.43 into 10 power 6 volt per second and here we can notice one thing so, since the value of dv or dt is within the specified limit the design is safe and we, here we have i equal to 6 and c is equals to this and L is equals to 16.26 this micro Henry. So finally you can design this snower circuit in this way. Hope you understand this. Thanks for watching this.